Hello, my friends. This is Dr. Ginny Barrow. Welcome to Start the Day with Ginny. Today, I want to take you outside where I am enjoying watching the snowfall. It is almost 10 days before spring, and this is probably one of our last snowfalls. And I wanted to shoot the video from out here because I want to enjoy myself as much as I can while I work. On my way to the gym this morning, I was listening to the training that I delivered last summer to the Fearless Leaders Challenge members who participated. And we talked about superpowers. The reason why I want to talk about this topic with you today is that many of my clients and people that I speak with on a regular basis talk about confidence and how they wish they had more confidence to pursue their dreams, to go after the roles that they want, to do a better job as a leader. And one of the ways in which we can do that, increase our confidence, and it's something that is already built in that we don't have to work so hard because we already do this thing, is identifying our superpowers. When we take our superpowers for granted, we assume that everybody else can do exactly what we do. And when we do that, a couple of things happen. We don't give ourselves the credit, we don't give ourselves the self-worth, the value that we bring, and we also make assumptions about the people who are working with us, our teams, when they can't really follow or get behind or get sold on our vision. So understanding that you have superpowers and what they are, and that your team also has those superpowers, although they'll be different than yours, it is going to be a tool that you can put in your tool belt. And that will give you more confidence from which to operate from. So how do you identify your superpowers? There's several ways that I can share with you. One of them is to ask the question, what am I great at? These are the things that you do with your eyes closed. It doesn't take you any effort to do them because you do them naturally. They're like your innate abilities. What are those? For some of you, it may be that you are detail oriented. You can really focus on the details. It could be that you are strategic and you can look at the big picture of things. You can connect dots. You can see the vision of where you need to go and then figure out how to get there. Those could be some of your superpowers. That's one way to ask the question, what am I great at? Another way is to say, what have I been training on? What have I been doing as a result of doing my role that I now do so well, that I can teach others how to do it because I am so good at it? What you've been trained on is also in your cadre of superpowers. And the one question that I want you to also ask yourself to just uncover and discover your superpowers is, when I'm doing an activity that I can do and it energizes me, so whatever it is that you do at work that you don't feel depleted, you feel energized by it, whatever skill sets you are using to do that activity, those skills are also part of your strengths and superpowers. So some of you have done the Clifton strengths and all kinds, Gallup strengths, all kinds of different uh, strengths finder assessments. So many of you already know at a very high level what your core superpowers are. And also I want you to consider that how you are showing up to your work becomes part of your superpowers and your personal brand. So whether you are collaborative, having the ability to be empathetic and the ability to listen and to empower others, those are also part of your superpowers. So your assignment today is to write down, take five minutes and write down your superpowers and strengths as you answer the questions that I asked. Go back to the questions and rewind this if you need to. And then consider, this is the really important part, what are my team's strengths and superpowers? Because there's so much benefit to really knowing their strengths so you can assign them tasks where they can leverage the superpowers and use them to the best of their abilities. As you use yours and leverage them, you can also help them and empower them by leveraging theirs. So that's how we build, that's one of the ways in which we build a high performing team by making sure that we give them the assignments where they can use those strengths to complete those assignments. And so now what? Now you know your superpowers, you can build on that to create more confidence. You now know your team's superpowers. Take the time to identify your team's superpowers. And then what happens is that you can position yourself 
in a way that leverages your superpowers and theirs. And on the flip side of that, you can keep your hand down when assignments, opportunities come to you that you know are not in your wheelhouse of superpowers and unique value. Those are the ones that drain you, that you don't feel that you will be adding the most value. So let someone else say yes to those, raise their hands so they can use theirs, and you stay in your lane, as they say. So that is my start today with Ginny for you today. If this resonates with you, leave me a comment. It isn't unusual for people to come to me and say, Ginny, I need to increase my confidence so that I can go after what I know I have the potential to go for. Understanding your superpowers and leverage, leveraging them is one of the ways that you increase your confidence as a leader and that you empower your team to bring their best forward. And by the way, I have events that are happening all the time. The best way to stay in touch with what are those events is to visit my events page on my website at executivebound.com slash events. And if you want to join me in my next Fearless Leaders Challenge, visit that page, executivebound.com slash events, to find out what I'm up to next. A lot of my trainings are free, and I invite you to take advantage of them. Live with purpose, live with joy.